Welcome to Force 13's first ever monthly summary, taking a look at all the goings on in tropical weather in the Northern Hemisphere this January. Which you'll realise is not much. So, whilst that is the case, allow me to talk a little more about the monthly summaries. In December, I started making individual storm summaries worldwide, and that will continue into this summer when the Atlantic and Pacific become active again. However, these animations only show basic track and intensity information, but these narrated summaries will aim to talk more in detail about storms. The reason I'll only be covering the Northern Hemisphere is, quite frankly, me not having any time to do any more. Something we can look at right now, though, is some of the uh, early storm predictions for the Atlantic that have been issued by one or two meteorological organisations. So far, there's only been two predictions, because the uh, Colorado State University decided to stop guessing, and um, the ones who have gone for the um, forecast so far is Tropical Storm Risk uh, from University College London, um, predicting 14 named storms, 7 hurricanes and 3 major hurricanes and we also had Weather Services International who also made a prediction of 12 named storms and agreeing with uh, TSR with 7 hurricanes and 3 major hurricanes this season. As far as the naming list is concerned, uh, of course it's the same as the 2006 season and since no storms were retired it's exactly the same as the 2006 season. Alberto, Beryl, Chris Debbie, Ernesto, Florence, Gordon, Helene, Isaac, Joyce, Kirk, Leslie, Michael, Nadine, Oscar, Patty, Raphael, Sandy, Tony, Valerie and William will be used this season and of course if it goes further than that it will go on to the Greek alphabet just as was the case in 2005 when it happened for the first time. As I was alluding to earlier then, there's not really been much activity in the Northern Hemisphere this month, only one tropical depression forming in the Pacific. Um, and, and very short-lived as well, just shy of tropical storm strength near Singapore, Malaysia, and it really didn't last long at all, uh, barely, not even a day I don't think, um, in early, early th earlier this month, on the 13th, um, and elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere nothing's really happened at all. However, it is worth touching on some of the uh, goings-on in the Southern Hemisphere this month, because it is heating up down there, and I know um, I said I wouldn't talk about it, but um, I'll just touch on it. We have... Um, storms such as Dando and Funso as well which um, hit Mozambique and it's causing a lot of widespread flooding there at the moment um, which has been an ongoing problem for a while there um, 26 at least dead from Funso and you can of course see its track and things on the individual um, storm animation and of course it's passing the peak there right now it's um, coming into February which is the peak month in the Southern Hemisphere generally and then of course things will die down and the Northern Hemisphere will heat up after that and of course every storm will be animated or so I hope. Well that's just about it for this month but a few things for you before you uh, go if you have any questions about the animations or real storms just send a message and I'll answer it in the next monthly summary though of course you'll personally get your answer much sooner Having said all that, I'm not really expecting any, but we'll see what happens. Don't forget that this Friday, February 3rd, Force 13 will launch as its own entity uh, online. So be sure to check it out, and if you haven't already, don't forget to visit the always changing channel page and subscribe to stay in the loop. Thanks for watching.